all day. You all know me. Um, but we are here for yoga. So um, let's get started. My name is Leah, for those of you who don't know me, and we've got an hour together for power flow. So just go ahead and get on your mat in child's pose. Morning, Brooke. Everyone, Lisa G, Kate Trotter, Vanessa. Uh, and really, you guys, just start by landing here on your mat. And just notice the heaviness of your body. And start to notice your breath. And just take one full body breath. Take a big breath in through your nose and a big sigh out through your mouth. And stretch your fingers long. See if you can make your spine about one inch longer. And then go to downward facing dog. Yeah, and start to take any movement that you guys need this morning. You can pedal out your legs, right? If you're feeling like ready for yoga, like maybe you do some mountain climbers. Like, I don't know what's there for you this morning, but whatever it is, like just getting that movement in. Uh, everyone reach your right leg up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and stack your hips, bend your knee. I circle out the ankles, see if you can get any snaps, crackles, or pops out. And then drop the right leg down, lift the left leg. Same thing, stack, bend, open, circle out the ankle. And then drop the left foot down to meet the right. Walk your feet to your hands and ragdoll. Yeah, and if it feels good, you can sway from side to side. Like, go ahead and bend your knees a lot, guys. Like maybe your low ribs touch your thighs. Yeah, really just releasing the low back, any tension in the neck. And then press down through your feet, reach your arms straight up, extended mountain pose. Breathe in, and bring your hands to heart center. Uh, and if it feels okay, close the eyes. And just set an intention for this practice. Right? One thing for you to hold on to, to come back to in this space. We'll start all together with the sound of one ohm. Breathe in. Ah, Extended mountain pose, reach up, look up, and then fold forward on your exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in, high plank, breathe out. And just hold the first one, right? See if you can get really strong in the arms and the legs. Uh, and at the same time, you guys wanna create like a little water in the joints. So a soft bend in the elbows, a tiny bend in the knees. Yeah, now really press your hands into the floor and at the same time, see if you can squeeze them in towards one another. So you could crinkle the mat up. Yeah, take a breath in and a breath out. You got it, Kim Miller. Breathe in and breathe out. Everyone take one more breath and then go to low plank on your exhale. Yeah, and just hold low plank this morning. Take a breath in. Yeah, and stay for the exhale. Do that again, breathe in, yeah, and then stay. Now go to upward facing dog, press through your hands, downward facing dog, lift your hips up high. And then take three breaths here. Right, guys, don't be afraid of the stillness. 
right? That's something that has come up for me a lot during this quarantine is that I don't really like to be still. I like embrace the breath and just embrace each moment. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, step or jump to your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in, forward fold, breathe out. Mountain pose, rise up, reach up, fold forward on your exhale. Halfway lift in, high to low plank, breathe out. And then upward facing dog, fill up, downward facing dog, empty. And then three breaths here, right? To just come back to your ujjayi breath, breathing in and out your nose, okay, coming back to your hands and feet. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump forward. Nice, halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, reach up, breathe in, fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Yes, you can step or float back, upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Take a breath in and let it go. Do that again, fill up, empty, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, look forward, jump forward. Halfway lift, forward fold, Mountain, rise up, reach up, bow forward, exhale. Halfway lift in, chaturanga flow through. Yeah, upward facing dog, fill up. Downward facing dog, empty. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, look forward, hop. Halfway lift. Forward fold, mountain, explode up, grow tall. A fold forward, exhale. Nice, Brooke. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, hop forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold, chair pose. Nice, yeah, sit your hips really low, right down to the floor and then squeeze your legs in towards center. Hug your thighs in towards one another. Squeeze your kneecaps and your shins in. Everyone take a breath in and then sink your hips down two inches. Take one more breath and then fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Warrior one, right side. Yeah, and guys, I mean, you can do this in the studio too, but what I've learned in my home practice is that um, I don't try hard, I try very little. Yeah, so really like extend your right foot forward, like press the foot forward. That's it, Kate. Yeah, and then stack your right knee right on top of your ankle. Yeah, and then activate your legs by pressing both your heels straight down into the floor. Nice, Sarah Hearn, take a breath in and then sink your hips just a little lower. Yeah, take one more breath, reach up, look up. Hands to the floor, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Warrior one, left side. Yeah, and then same thing on this side, guys. Like widen the stance. Yeah, the space in between your feet and then really activate the legs. Press the feet into the floor. At the same time, you could squeeze your thighs in towards one another. So you'll feel some activation in the legs. And take a breath in and then a breath out. 
do that again. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath, reach up, look up, and then hands to the floor, chaturanga. Now flow through. Callie, I think a coyote just walked past your screen. That was incredible. <laughs> yeah, we'll all meet in downward facing dog. And then you guys have five breaths here, right? Yeah, Kristen, Neely, you can play with handstand hops. Yeah, Michael. Right, maybe a little twerking action if you still need some looseness in the hips. Yeah, or you can play with stillness and breath. Everyone breathe in and then breathe out. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, jump to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift in. Chaturanga, flow through. Uh, upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Warrior one, right side. Inhale, rise up, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, down dog, warrior one, left side. Now root your feet into the floor and reach your hands up and then take them right back down for chaturanga. Now moving with your breath, up dog, down dog, and then five breaths. Yeah, and you guys have like the space Right, maybe beware of like lamps hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, or if there are little people running around. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, look at your hands, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose, sit your hips down low. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward facing dog in. Downward facing dog out. Warrior one, right side. Step forward and breathe in, reach up. Hands to the floor, chaturanga, breathe out. Up dog, down dog. Warrior one, left side. Using your breath as a guide. Inhales take you up, and then exhales take you right back to the floor. Yes, guys. And then again, meeting in down dog. Uh, and this time everyone take a breath in through your nose and then sigh it out your mouth. Uh, bring your big toes to touch, take your knees wide, walk your feet, I don't know, six to eight inches up your mat and just go ahead and take some leapfrogs, right? Like what's holding you back in this space from just like getting the hips up? Yes, Eric. Yeah, like maybe you start to get a little floating action. Nice, Savannah. Take one more hop and then fold forward top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, breathe in. Bow forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, reset. Chaturanga, flow through. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, warrior one, right and left sides, go on your own, guys. Yeah, like just get caught up in the flow of your breath, right? The freedom of your body. Beautiful. Beautiful warriors this morning. And again, we will meet in downward facing dog. And this time, take a breath in through your nose and flubber your lips on your exhale. Yeah, do that again. Breathe in through your nose. Flubber the lips. And then ujjayi breath. Breathe in your nose. Breathe out your nose. Yeah, settling back into this like strong and victorious breath. Now lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Stack your hips. Bend your knee. Flip your dog, flip it over. Nice, yeah, drop your head back. 
right? And reach your hand up towards the ceiling, maybe start to reach it down to the floor. There you go. Nice, take a breath and then stay on the exhale. Do that again, one more breath. Come back over into high plank, and then go to side plank. Right hand will be down, left hand will lift up. Yeah, and then you guys go for your fullest expression. Maybe that's lifting the left leg. Yeah, and then maybe take your drissy, your gaze up to your left fingertips. Yeah, I don't know why I keep saying maybe, like just do that anyways, and then fall over if you fall. <laughs> Yeah, everyone take one more breath. Chaturanga, flow through. Yeah, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, stack bend open, flip your dog. Yeah, and now is the time, like if you wanna try on full wheel to go for it, ground your heels into the floor and press your hips way up. Yeah, Nick, like really reach your left hand up and back. Take one more big breath and then come back over into high plank. Go to side plank, left hand is down, right hand reaches up. Yeah, your fullest expression. Nice, and then without like judgment or thought, take your eye gaze up towards your right fingertips. Yeah, now reach your hips up one more inch. Chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Now bring your right knee to your right elbow. See if you can bring it into touch. And then just pause. Yeah, now take your right knee down to your right wrist. Cover it one inch off the floor. Now take it across the body to your left wrist. Nice, Vanessa, bring it up to your left elbow and then take it back up behind you, three-legged dog. Yeah, and we're gonna do that again because it's so fun. So bring your right knee to your right elbow and I'll take it down to the right wrist. Take it across the body to your left wrist. Take it up to your left elbow. You got it, Logan. Reach it up behind you, three-legged dog. And then step the right foot forward for crescent lunge. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Like thumbs up, are we good? Hopefully sweating. Yeah, and the same thing in our warriors. Like you're gonna have that same sort of intensity in the legs here in Crescent, press your heels, no. Press your right heel down into the floor. <laughs> but still squeeze your thigh bones, hug them in towards the center of your body. Yeah, and then activate the arms, reach the arms in towards one another as if you had like a block in between your arms. Uh, now take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale your hands to heart center. Exhale, twist to the right. Yeah, and here guys, you're using your breath as a guide, right? So on your inhale, stay. On your exhale, twist. Do that again, breathe and stay. Exhale, twist. Yeah, damn, one more big breath. And then one more big twist. Now open up into warrior two. Right, get your right knee stacked right on top of the ankle again. Yes, that's it. And now take your adristi, your gaze past your front middle finger. Take a breath in and then drop your hips down two more inches. Take one more inhale, extended side angle, exhale. Yeah, and here, your biggest, fullest expression, right? Like you have the freedom to take binds, right? Or to try on a bind. Like maybe you've never even reached that left arm behind you for the right hip. Yeah, birds of paradise fly. 
Bound Half Moon is an option here. Nice, Kate. Stay for one more breath in and then chaturanga on your exhale. Yeah, birds of paradise, figure it out. <laughs> Up dog, downward facing dog. And then take a couple of breaths here, like come back to just your breath, right? And the strength of this body. Breathe in and breathe out. Do that again, fill up, empty, and then Ujjayi, breathe in your nose, breathe out your nose, inhale your left leg towards the ceiling, touch your left knee to your left elbow, pause, take it down towards your left wrist, take it across the body to the right wrist. Bring it up to the right elbow and then take it back up three-legged dog. Do it again. Left knee, left elbow. Take it down to the wrist, across the body, right wrist, up to the right elbow, and then take it back up three-legged dog. Now step your left foot forward for crescent lunge. Beautiful. Yeah, and guys, you want to have some like power and strength in that back leg. Like I tend to forget that there's a leg back there. So really press the back of the right thigh up towards the sky or the ceiling, like wherever you are. Inhale, bring your hands to your heart. And on your exhale, you're going to twist to the left. Yeah, and you want like a really strong foundation here in the legs. Right, so keep squeezing the thighs into the center of the body. And then see if you can twist your left lung up towards the ceiling. Yeah, so breathe in and then give a little twist. Do that again, breathe in and then twist. Take one more, fill up and then give your biggest twist. Now open it up into warrior two. Yeah, come back to the foundation, to your feet, to your legs. Okay, now reach your arms in opposite directions and take your gaze beyond your front finger. All right, like what's past this moment? Take a breath, extended side angle. And then same thing, like you have the space and the freedom to try on like your new thing. Yes, Heidi, like maybe it's that half bind or full. Yeah, wherever you are, see if you can squeeze your shoulder blades in towards one another, wrap them around your spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Take one more big breath, Chaturanga, flow through. Uh, upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to your toes, bend your knees, look forward, jump forward. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Yeah, guys, squeeze your knees in together. Nice, James Hearn. Now drop your hips down like 45 inches. Yeah, really low. That's it. And now inhale your hands to heart center and then exhale, twist to your right. Keep your hips down. You want to see if you can get them lower than your heart. Uh, and then you get to expand the twist with your breath. Yeah, so inhales, you stay. And then exhales, you twist a little more. Do that again, breathe in, go a little deeper, and then come back to chair center, right? Keeping the hips down low, squeeze everything in. Inhale, hands to heart center, exhale, twist left. Nice, Vanessa. Yeah, and then keep that, like strengthen the legs. 
Right, keep the space in the lungs. Take a breath in. And then a twist. One more big breath. And then your biggest twist. Now come back to chair. Like one more breath. You guys can do this. Take one big inhale and then fold forward. Fingers to toes forward fold. Yeah, so bring your feet at least hips width. If they're not comfy there, you can take them wider and then pull your chest down towards your thighs. You lengthen the crown of your head to the floor. And then go to palms to toes forward fold. Just take your hands right underneath your feet. Yeah, if you're feeling frisky, maybe you lift up the heels one at a time. Hey, okay, play don't fall on your face. It's my favorite game to play in this pose. Yeah, Savannah. Yeah, and then take crow pose, guys. Like, just go right for it. Yeah, and if you're not 100% sure how to do crow, can't exactly demo it here, but it's you're gonna create chaturanga arms and take your knees on the backs of your triceps. Yeah, and your drissy, your gaze will be forward. Nice alley. Yeah, everyone take one more breath and then shoot your feet back for chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Take a breath in through your nose and sigh it out your mouth. Do that again, breathe in through your nose, sigh it out your mouth. Listen guys, inhale to your toes, bend your knees, look forward and jump into crow. Yeah. Yes, Kristen. Nice, yeah, and then stay in this crow for three, for two, Malasana yogi squat. And you might have to coordinate if there's a couple of people in your space. Bring your hands to heart center and then sit up really tall. Right? Reach the crown of your head up. See if you can lengthen the spine. Take a breath and stay. Breathe in. Stay. Take one more breath and then lift your hips up just in line with your knees. So maybe like six inches. Yeah, press your shoulder blade straight back like your back was right up against a wall. Yeah, and then we're gonna stay here for about 10 minutes and then class will almost be over. It'll be Shavasana. <laughs> no, but we are gonna stay for three, for two, and then come all the way up to mountain. Grow, reach tall. Yeah, if it feels good, you can take a little back bend here. And then bring your hands to heart center. And just close your eyes. Uh, and come back. Right, like back to this moment. And I've had so much like guilt over all the things that I don't get done on my checklist every day. I have laundry that's been sitting in my dryer for three days, guys. And every day, it's like the things I didn't accomplish. How about like maybe you can become present to this, like let go of the laundry. Right, the boxes that aren't unpacked. And just check back in. Take a breath in and a breath out. And then blink your eyes open, go to eagle on the right. Yeah, so your right arm will go under the left. Yeah, and just like your chair pose, you wanna drop your hips down to the floor, sit low. Breathe in and breathe out. 
Take one more breath and then switch sides. Go to eagle on the left. And each time it's like a coming back, right? It's like coming back to breath, coming back to your body, coming back to your intention. Take a breath in and a breath out. One more, fill up and then go into eagle. Ooh, on the right, <clears throat> something's in there. <clears throat> Even if you can't get the leg bind, still squeeze your feet in towards one another. And now reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Take one more breath in and then switch sides. Eagle on the left. Nice. Press your shoulders straight back. And just like in that malas and just like in that squat, like see if you can get your back flat. And then take one more breath and release. Standing leg raise on the right. Bring your right knee into your chest. Yeah, you can grab your knee or if you can hook your big toe with your peace sign fingers, you can do that. Uh, open it up, left hand to the left wall, the TV, like whatever's right there for you. <laughs> uh, and then breathe. Take one more breath. Bring your leg back through center. Bring your hands to heart center, guys. Let's go to figure four. So take your right ankle to your left thigh. <clears throat> and you're going to drop your hips low. And again, like you get to choose your variation here. So you can choose to stay. If you know the arm balance and you want to play with it, you can do that. If you don't know it, it's similar to crow. So you're planting the hands, except your right shin will just be on the back of your triceps. Nice, Logan. Yes. Peter Healy. Getting it. Yeah, everyone take one more breath here and then slow and controlled, come back up, bring your right knee into your chest, stay here and then shoot it back behind you for airplane. <clears throat> Flex your right foot. Yeah, now stamp the foot behind you, like whatever's there, like a wall, or maybe there's a chair, like pretend you could kick into it or kick it over. And now take one more breath and then drop your hands down. Keep your right foot lifted for standing splits. Yeah, or handstand hops. Like if you took dance, handstand class, you wanna try on some hops. <clears throat> You guys have got this for three. Nice, Sarah, for two, and then fold forward. Halfway lift, reset, forward fold, rise all the way up to standing, standing leg raise on the left. Yeah, so knee or big toe, whatever feels good for you, and then open it up to the left side of the room. Yeah, get really strong in that bottom leg. Ground the right heel into the floor. And then kick the left heel away from you, wherever it is. Nice, James. Take one more breath. Bring your leg back through center, hands to heart center. Go to figure four. Yeah, wherever you guys are here, you want to... Press your left knee away from your face. Yeah, and if the arm balance is there or you wanna like even just try for it, you can just start to reach your fingers to the floor. Maybe you're spider webbed on the fingertips. S. Brooke. 
You could be in a grasshopper prep. You can fall over. Yeah, everyone take one more breath and then rise all the way back up to standing. Bring your left knee into your chest with you and then press it behind you for an airplane. <clears throat> Yeah, and wobble and shake, right? Like give yourself the freedom to just be as you are today. Have pull the back of your heart up towards the sky or the ceiling. Take one more breath and then drop your hands down for standing splits. Yeah, and your option here for some handstand hops Right? Or if your hands are touching the ground and you're using them as leverage to keep reaching that left heel higher. Nice, Dan, take one more breath and then fold forward, top of your mat. Halfway lift, reset, forward fold. Do that again, halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Warrior one, right leg. <clears throat> Warrior two. And now go to triangle. Straighten out the right leg. See if you can stack the left shoulder blade on top of your right one. Yeah, and really just open your chest to the right side of your room. Yeah, everyone breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more inhale and then rise all the way up to standing. Turn your feet to the side, side facing wide leg forward fold. Yeah, and here, like whatever feels good for you. So hands can be on the floor or if you get upside down and you wanna take a tripod, go for it. I forgot that word. Sometimes I forget words, guys. <laughs> nice, Michael, Kate Trotter. Yeah, if your feet are in the air, slow and controlled, like using your breath and your core, bring them back down. Take one more breath and then rise all the way up to standing. Namaste, front facing forward fold. So you're gonna turn back to the front of your mat and fold over your right leg. And so you guys want your feet, I don't know, maybe a foot or a foot and a half apart from each other. <clears throat> and really ground your heels into the floor. So you want as much activation in the legs as possible. And then press your right hip back to the wall behind you. And I'll take one more breath. And then twisting triangle, left hand will go down, right hand will open you up. Beautiful, yeah, you want a long spine. So see if you can press the crown of your head to the front of the room, right? And reach your hips back away from your face. Take one more breath, chaturanga. Up dog. That's it, and down dog. Warrior one, left side. <clears throat> Open it up to warrior two. And then triangle on the left. Yeah, and however you guys wanna build that, like a lot of you do this practice often, so water bottle or block, like whatever's there for you for the left hand, but it can also be your shin. And then wrap your shoulders around your spine, really open across the front of the body. Take a breath and then exhale. 
one more inhale and then rise all the way up to standing side facing wide leg forward fold you guys can take a bind here behind your back you can interlace the hands grab opposite elbows if that feels good or if you just love getting upside down you can go for that again and tune back into your breath Take a breath, nice, Eric, and then fold a little deeper. Come all the way up to standing, namaste, front facing forward fold. Now, if you wanna keep that arm variation, you can do that. <clears throat> and press your big toe mound straight down into the floor. Just press your left hip back. Take one more breath. Twisting triangle. Right hand goes down and left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Nice, guys. Take one more inhale. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And then come to standing on your knees for camel pose. Yeah, and just bring your hands to your low back and then do camel. Press your hips forward, drop your head back. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades, wrap them around the spine and press your heart up, like press it through your ribs. Take one more breath and then come back up. Sit your hips on your heels. And just take a breath. Just a quick reset, breathe in and breathe out. And then come back up to your knees for camel number two. All right, you guys got this. Yeah, press your hips towards the front of the room. Maybe that's the camera. Yeah, and drop your head back. All right, if you're feeling like really open today, maybe your hands catch your heels or ankles. And I'll keep shining your heart, like shine it up towards the ceiling. Take one more breath in release come back up make your way to your backs for bridge and wheel and we're gonna do six because i i think you guys got this yeah like we will all start out in bridge pose so you'll just plant your feet and lift your hips as soon as you're on your back go for it yeah, squeeze your thighs Right, like everything, we're hugging everything in towards the center of the body. Now press your hips up, lift them up one more inch, and then lower your hips down to the floor. Take a breath in through your nose, and sigh it out your mouth. Now come up for wheel. Now ground your hands and feet, like lift your hips way up. Yeah, that's it guys, lift everything up and then lower everything down to the floor. Take a breath in and a breath out. Wheel number two, come right up, right? Without thought or hesitation, yes. Press your hips up towards the ceiling and then drop them down towards the floor. Take a breath in and breathe out. Yeah, number three, come up. Yes, Vanessa and Savannah, like you're staying, like keep that strength in the legs. Yeah, now squeeze your knees, hug them in, and then lower everything down. Breathe in and breathe out. Come up, wheel. All right, go right for it, guys. That's it. Spread your fingers wide and press the earth away from you. Yeah, come up one more inch and then lower it down. 
breathe in and breathe out, we'll come up. Yeah, come up. All right, this is number five, and I believe in you guys. Like, you got this. Yeah, ground everything into the floor and then lift up, lower it down. Last one, take a big breath in and a big sigh out. Yeah, and this time just like air fist bump, like everyone in this space. Yeah, like you got it. You could just punch the air. Yeah, and then come up for one more. That's it, Kate, you got it. Yeah, now lift. Yeah, lift your hips up. One more big breath. Nice, Brooke, now lower it down. Supta Baddha Konasana. The soles of your feet together, knees wide, one hand to your heart and your belly. Yeah. We lost you, Leah. We lost your sound. Can you guys hear me? Now we can. My Zoom just like crashed for a second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and come into a happy baby. If it feels good, you can rock from side to side. Hug both knees in towards your chest. Rock forwards and backwards on your mat. Make your way into half pigeon. Yeah, and whatever your variation looks like today. And that's what I love about this practice is that it looks different every day. Okay, just for my body. And I love that we have the space to like take on what we need and leave what we don't. That's kind of like what my theme has been through this like quarantine is like take what I need and leave what I don't like I don't need to fold my laundry every day. I feel like some of you guys are going to text me after class and be like fold your laundry Leah. <laughs> but I don't need to. <laughs> like I don't need to vacuum under the refrigerator. I don't have to do yoga every day, okay, but it's here. Like what I need is here. And then take half pigeon on the other side, however you guys want to get there. <clears throat> okay, if you need movement on the hips in between, go for it. And then take what you need.
and then make your way up. And just roll on to your hips, swing your back leg forward. Take a seated single leg extension on the right. So right leg will go long and left leg will bend in. Now reach up tall and then fold over the leg. And then switch sides. Seated forward fold, take both legs long in front of you. Now reach your arms up and then fold over your legs. Take reverse tabletop or reverse plank. Now plant your hands and lift your hips up. Just drop your head back and just see what's behind you. Take a breath in and sigh it out. Do that again, breathe in and sigh it out. One more big breath, yeah, one more exhale. Drop your hips down to the floor. Take an inversion of your choice. Now, whatever that looks like today. So I love taking my legs up the wall. So there's a wall nearby. If you're in shoulder stand, go to plow pose. If you're in plow, go to deaf yogi. And then everyone make your way all the way down to your mats. If you're using any props, move them out to the side. Just take a supine twist, squeeze your right leg in, take the left leg long, just take it across your body. Let your shoulders be heavy and keep them grounded on the floor. Then switch sides, squeeze the left leg in, right leg goes long, supine twist. And then come back through center, squeeze both your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs, 
A forehead meets the knees. Create a tiny little ball with your body. And then take one last big strong breath in. Sigh it out, Shavasana. And take up as much space as you need. Okay, take what you need. And leave what you don't. And start to bring awareness back to your breath. Take a breath in through your nose. Sigh it out your mouth. <clears throat> and movements, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Shake your head from left to right. And then reach your arms overhead. Take a big Friday morning stretch. Roll over to one side. And pause. Okay, just giving yourself one last moment of stillness. Make your way up to an easy seat. Bring your hands to Anjali Mudra, heart center, and close your eyes. And just call to mind the intention that you set for this class. Right? And know that it's here for you when you need it. This moment is here for you when you need it. We'll end the same way we began with an OM all together. Breathe in. Uh, oh. Bring your hands to your third eye. The light in me sees, loves, and appreciates the light in each and every one of you. Together we bow and say, namaste. Give yourselves a hand, guys. Awesome job. You can um, unmute yourselves if you wanna say hi. Um, I did throw our Kindful and Venmo in our chat. Um, so we are taking donations. Of course, all our classes are free to this community. And really, I just love that I get to see you guys each and every day. I almost started crying mid-class because it's this is our new community and I'm just so appreciative um that i get to be here with all of you and i get to see you holy shit like i never ooh, i never thought seeing someone would mean so much um but yeah let's see how do i
<sighs> I'm always so manage. I'm on mute. mute. Okay. There you go. Hey, Leah. Um, Hallie, I just want to say that I think you, Sarah, that's Sarah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Hey. You have the sweetest assist. If I could get someone to lay on my back in pigeon, what a day that would be. <laughs> it was nice. It was pretty sweet. Um, thank you all so much for really just showing up here. It, it means so much to me as a teacher and I know our entire teaching team. Um, I hope to see you all soon. Just a quick heads up. We do have a, a um, live meditation going on right now on Instagram, but Natalie Thomas is teaching a class tonight, a special class at five o'clock. It's in and Vin. So grab your favorite glass of wine or box of wine get on your mat and we're just gonna have a little yin happy hour all together. That's all I got. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Leah. Thanks, Leah. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Everybody get under your refrigerator. Do not. <laughs> I've been thinking about it for days. I'm like, how oh, many crumbs under I'm, my refrigerator? I'm going to do that today. Sarah Hearn was like, no. <laughs> I was definitely like, who's cleaning behind the refrigerator? I started doing yoga in front of my fridge, and every time I'm in down dog, I could just see all the crumbs underneath it. And I'm like, yeah. damn it. Look a different way. <laughs> around. Right? Great class, Leah. Thanks, Peter. Thanks Tough for uh, Sarah. I didn't see in you. The, in the Hi. Thank you so much. See, see you soon. Bye, Amanda. guys. Bye, Nick. Bye. Bye. Bye.